welcome to my home. This is Dream Home 4, the Palm Springs Retreat. I've lived here for about four years now and I realized I've never taken you on a walkthrough. So let's go for a quick tour. Now this is the entryway and at this point in the home we can either go down the hallway to the bedrooms or downstairs to the living room. One of the things that we did in this home was follow the slope of the land and that's why the stairs go downwards when you walk in the home. Off the hallway we have the three kids bedrooms and they're nearly all identical. We made them pretty large, they're four by four and a half. We've included a built-in desk and built-in wardrobe so there's plenty of room for storage. Now one of the things that I like to do when I'm designing a home is I always think about resale value. So it was really important that we increased the size of these bedrooms so that if we ever go to sell the home, it's a selling point. You can still get a queen bed in there. So when the kids are young adults, if they want a bigger bed, and there's still plenty of room to move around. So they'll really grow into these rooms as they get older. Now this is our big, luxurious master ensuite. We really wanted something that was uh, a tropical oasis, but we were in the western suburbs of Sydney. So we had to create that ourselves. We made sure we put in lots of large windows to get in that natural light, but it also acts as a frame to the outside. And we've just created our own garden oasis out there to really give us that beautiful indoor outdoor feel that we wanted. We reserved the best view in the house for the master suite. Now, one of the things I love doing in my homes and in most of my designs is I love creating relaxed master bedrooms. It needs to be somewhere that you come away at the end of your day and just feel like you can relax and unwind. And that was what I wanted to create in this room. But the best part is probably how it opens up onto the beautiful bush outlook outside. Hello up there. Now I mentioned earlier that we, when we were designing the house, that we followed the natural slope of the land. What we did was though we kept the ceiling height the same. So that's why we have massive 4.3 metre high ceilings in this space. And to really capture the view and allow lots of natural light in, we had these massive fixed panel windows put in. Um, and we only put the pool in two years ago, but we always knew if we were gonna put a pool in, that's where it would be. And we did it because we wanna enjoy the outlook of the pool and have that holiday vibe all year round. So even in winter when it's not being used, we get to enjoy that outlook. And it means that I can keep a watchful eye on the kids when I'm inside in the cool air conditioning. When we were doing the floor plan for this home, it, for many, many months, we had planned to face the kitchen out to the view. And right towards the end, when we were about to finalise it, we decided to change it. And we did that because I really wanted my butler's pantry to be behind here, because it meant that when we were entertaining, we didn't have far to go to pack up all the mess and take it straight into the butler's pantry and put it in the dishwasher for cleaning. We love entertaining at home. We've got three kids. We love having all of our friends and their kids over. So we created the perfect outdoor entertaining area, not just for us adults, but for the kids as well. What we did here was we made sure we considered the natural light all year round. In the winter months, as the sun comes down, it warms up this whole area and it's just the perfect spot to sit on a winter's afternoon when we fire up the pizza oven and have lots of family and friends gather around. But then in the summer months, we pack away the fire pit and this becomes the area where the kids have their trampoline. Now, we love hosting at home. We prefer that over going to restaurants. And so we love to have as many things to keep the kids occupied outside so they're not inside making a mess. So in the summer months, they tend to just float between swimming in the pool and having a blast on the trampoline. And us adults get to sit back, relax and enjoy it.
So we're on acreage, as you can probably tell by now. And one of the things we could have done is put the pool further away from the house, but we deliberately kept it nice and close. Firstly, to be able to keep an eye on the kids, but it also meant that when we're entertaining, we're right near the kitchen. It meant that we didn't need a second entertaining area separate from the house, which possibly would have required an extra kitchen and a whole heap of extra dinnerware. It's just nice and convenient that it's all kept together and it's really practical as well. Because we always knew we were gonna end up putting the pool here, there were some extra things we did in the planning stage just to make it a better space. So we included an outdoor shower, which hot tip for you, you should remember to put provisions in for that. Even if you're gonna do it later on after you've moved into your new home, still get some provisions in place for it. And then we have access from the outdoor shower straight into the laundry. And from the laundry, there's also an additional toilet. So when the kids have to quickly jump out of the pool to use the loo, they don't need to walk through the house wet. Now we've shown you heaps of images of this home before, but hopefully this walkthrough tour will help to give you a true sense of the space and floor plan and give you some ideas for your own place.